Hey you, Meowkaiser coming at you today with a how to play guide to Eshion. If you're just here for the gameplay, I have a timestamp in the description below that can bring you straight into the gameplay. So Eshion, in my honest opinion, is probably one of the weakest characters in the game right now. Uh, a couple people might disagree with me, mostly due to his relatively high win rate. I'm saying this from an opinion coming from a Dragon 1 lobby. Typically speaking, in higher level lobbies, the Eshion is just not a threat at all. This character has to do a lot to get ahead. His Kit doesn't help him pull ahead by by himself. He has to like make stronger armor. He has to get extra uh, meteorites. There's just a lot of things that he has to do to succeed. So let's get into his skills first. His combat skill is Venomous Tooth. It's a 70 second cooldown and he performs a normal attack and then increases his weapon attack by 5% of the damage dealt for 12 seconds. So obviously this skill scales with how much damage you are dealing early on in the game before you even upgrade your weapon you're really not going to notice this effect all that much and his uh, field skill is what makes him so special so at the very beginning of the game he's given viper which is an incredibly weak weapon right but at level 6 he can upgrade it to either death adder or black mamba and at level 13 he can upgrade it to queen death adder or king black mamba so we'll start with death adder so death adder gives plus 33 attack damage uh, and it also increases your attack damage by your char by Eshion's character level times 3. And he has minus 5% armor on this. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, this weapon can defect, but it cannot break. And when it defects, it takes about 30 seconds for the weapon to repair the defect. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that when you use Meteor Steel on this weapon, you are guaranteed to have an enhancement. But you generally don't want to enhance it on the purple weapon that you get at level 6. You want to enhance it on the legendary weapon you get at level 13. His other option is the Black Mamba, where you it's also attack damage plus 33, but your only attack damage is by uh, 2 times Eshion's character level, and it's only lifesteal 5%. And the upgrades are respectively his overall um, all armor is increased by another 5%, so it'll be minus 10% total, plus 42 attack damage, and his attack scaling is the same. This is for Queen Death Adder. And for King Black Mamba, it's plus 41 attack damage, character level times 2 attack scaling still, and plus 10% life steal. So basically, the takeaway is that Death Adder is significantly stronger, and a lot of that has to do with how weak 5% life steal is in this game. But the problem with life steal is that it's only really valuable when you start dealing damage, right? And the problem with Eshion currently is that he deals so little damage early on that a lot of times when you get the 5% life steal at level 6 through 13, you're only healing for 1 HP per hit. That is so weak. You'd much rather have the uh, Death Adder so that not only can you claim areas a lot easier and finish your build a lot better, but more importantly, you're actually able to contest animals and you really want to be rushing for level 13 as soon as possible. This character cares a lot about rushing level 6 and level 13, and honestly, these are really awkward levels, right? The problem with level 6 is that it's almost impossible to hit level 6 before the first animal spawn. So typically, as Eshion, you want to be checking some of the less popular animal spawns to try to get some free experience that way. I typically go for Bloodhound or... Uh, Osprey and just try to uh, keep track of that. Keeping track of animal timers is super important on this character because you really need the free experience so that you hit his power spikes. Early on in the first round, I might look... If I come across somebody that isn't dealing a lot of damage to me, I'm going to take that fight, even if they're out damaging me by a significant margin. Ashigan just doesn't deal damage before level 6, so just don't expect to deal damage. Just look at trades as a way to start building experience so that you can upgrade your weapon as soon as possible. I feel like on average, Eshion players are hitting level 5 on first animal spawn, and because you're not able to upgrade your weapon right away, securing that first animal spawn is super nasty. Uh, there's another uh, thing about him. So he's a character that doesn't have to build his weapon, so you have a little bit of extra time. You want to be using that extra time to be building more valuable armor pieces. Uh, most notably, you'll you'll see a lot of Eshion's building Hero Helmet. The reason why they build Hero Helmet is that it gives plus 5% overall armor, as you can see here, and this kind of helps mitigates what uh, Queen Death Adder does to Eshion's armor. But in general, when you're playing Eshion, I would be looking for things like drop near. I would be looking for things like uh, legendary armor, just things that'll help boost his armor up. Because this character is severely understated, and you kind of have to take advantage of the fact that he doesn't have to waste time making a weapon, so that you can go and get your armor ahead in comparison to other characters. You can do something in order to increase your damage, 
Uh, there's two ways. As I mentioned earlier, the Meteor Steel will guarantee increases weapon damage, but the problem with that is that if you do it on this purple weapon, you lose that bonus upon upgrading again. So you have, if you get like a Meteor Steel early in the game, you have to wait until level 13 before you use it. This is also another way you can increase your damage. Uh, forcing Searing Palm Scroll is also really good. And every time you deal a normal attack, it deals its damage plus uh, five skill damage. Keep in mind that five skill damage does apply to life steal. So if you get like Searing Palm Scroll and like some more damage increasing items, I would actually seriously consider going uh, King Black Mama. And of course, Kundala and Moonlight Pendant both increase your attack damage. Those are other things to be looking out for on Eshion. You want to be able to make sure that you have the damage to close out games. And of course, Bio Booster gets a special mention because uh, with the plus 3% life steal with uh, King Black Mamba, he gets 8% life steal when he hits level 6. And that's actually a very important threshold because all of a sudden you're not just healing for just one per attack. I might consider it with it. Uh, the old way you used to play Eshion was the moments that you upgraded into uh, King Black Mamba. You would just start taking fights and fight people to the death because you got so much free healing. So basically the takeaway between the two play styles is that uh, Death Adder gives you damage but takes away your armor. Black Mamba gives you sustain but you lose a lot of damage. And so with Black Mamba, you particularly want to make sure you're hitting SS super early in the game, which means you need to have a really strong armor start and you need to have armor that kind of complements what you're trying to do. And so that in order you're, you're able to take like basic non-stop fights, I would consider it if like, for example, I have a setup for that, but usually before level six, you're not going to be able to tell whether or not you're going to get that set up. So most of the time, Death Adder is correct. I, of course, it's a case by case basis, but I've played so much Eshion, I haven't found a single case where I would ever want to go Black Mamba currently, but I just wanted to make you aware that the option is there because I don't know, maybe you just get the game where you get the nuts and then Black Mamba just is super appealing. And I don't want to tell you that you're wrong. I want to tell you, hey, there's an edge case where you want to be building Black Mamba and that's it. So that's basically my thoughts on Eshion. I hope that the way I show this or is a lot better for kind of explaining the different items. I didn't use to switch into the different items when I was explaining it, so I hope this will help new players more. And of course, if you like these guys, make sure to give me a follow over on Twitch. I stream fairly often. I'm starting a new job, so my... Uh, stream schedule is going to change, but I'll make sure to put up an announcement the moment that happens. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to me. It's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. And with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. It's Proxy! And this Barbara is really good. This is not where I wanted to be. This is where I wanted to be. They stop Eshion's survival, they nerfed him to the ground. He was unplayable. He still is. Thank you. 
his. Yeah, basically. I need the experience. On and tunnel. How? How? Was he just like sitting in stealth stance? What was going on there? I am so confused. I can find glass marbles. Hopefully. Really need to clear inventory. Nice. Can I have this now? Jeez, how good is that corpse? Yeah. There's probably a corpse here. Called it. Come on, doggo. Tell the whole time. Nice. It's actually here. finish my builds. Unless I get that leather first. There it is. Fight me. 
Why did Proxy get in my way? God damn it, Proxy. Oh wow, you died. So it's here. So he's a spy umbrella gamer. I love it. I think Nazil is being dramatic. You know what OGBS looks like. Come on, dude. Should be up any second now. I wasn't paying attention to the exact time it died. That was my fault. Not even level 13. Jeez. one. Oh I'm sorry, that was so cringe that deserved a timeout. Let's be real here. 
思い浮かぶしっかりおらんねん Calm down with the cringe. It's okay, chat. I have saved you from the cringe. Questionable play, but I'm gonna go for it. Alright, who died here? Killed by proxy, right? Yeah. Purple guns. That was an elegance that got fired at me. Very typical because it's eleven. Curry powder. Can I have a whetstone? Do whetstones not exist? Bruh. Okay, thank God. There it is. 
Right? That's what I do, right? And then I just stay here forever? even win this with Queen of Hearts. Feels bad. I use a big heal. Come on, give me that gorilla corpse. That's a big heal on it. He just ran. Okay. Come on, give me that corpse. Researcher just expected me to win. I'll see you. <laughs> Do I really only get 18 points for this? This guy is so good. I only get 18 points for winning? Are you serious? Bruh. <laughs> 